Applications of Radian Measure. In this lesson, you will learn how to use radians to find the arc length on a circle, and how to use radians to, radians to find the area of a sector of a circle. Remember from geometry that your arc length is equal to the circumference times the fraction of the circle that the arc makes. So you have 2 pi r, which is the circumference, and then your fraction of the circle is your angle measure, m, over 360 degrees. The area of a sector is the area of the circle times the fraction of the circle that the sector is. So you have pi r squared, which is the area of the circle, times m, which is the number of degrees in the sector, in the central angle of the sector, over 360. So in this circle, we have this arc created by these two radii. And the radius is labeled r, and the measure of the angle, the central angle, that opens up to this arc is m degrees. Remember that our arc length is 2 pi r times the number of degrees over 360. Well, we can rearrange that so that it's r times 2 pi m over 360, and then when we simplify, we get r times pi m over 180. Now remember, when we convert degrees to radians, we multiply the number of degrees by pi, time, or pi over 180. So essentially, we are converting this angle measurement from degrees into radians. So that becomes theta, where theta is the angle measure in radians. So then we get, so then we're no longer using an angle measure in degrees, but now our angle measure becomes radians, and S represents our arc length. So our arc length is S equals R times theta, where R is the radius, and theta is the angle measure using radians as the unit of measurement. Huancayo, Huancayo, Peru, is approximately due north of Ocean City, Maryland. The latitude of Huancayo is 12 degrees south, while that of Ocean City is 38 degrees north. The radius of the Earth is approximately 6,400 kilometers. Find the north-south distance between the two cities. It always helps to draw a picture. So here we have our Earth, and the equator is the line in the center. And from the equator, Ocean City is 38 degrees north, and then Huancayo is um, 12 degrees south. So the angle in between from Ocean City to, Huan to Huancayo is 50 degrees. So remember our arc length is S equals R theta, where theta is in radians. Right now we're in degrees. So we plug in our 6,400, which was our radius, and then we have 50 degrees in between, but then we need to convert that to radians, so pi over 180. Remember to convert degrees into radians, we multiply by pi over 180. And then when we um, simplify that, we get 5,585 kilometers. So the length of this arc from Ocean City to Huancayo is 5,585. An anchor chain is wound around a drum with a radius one and a half feet. If the drum is rotated through an angle of 245 degrees, how far will the anchor be lowered? So here is our drum. The circle is our drum. And our radius is one, one and a half feet. And we are going to turn this drum 245 degrees. And we want to know how far is this anchor going to be let, lowered. So again, our arc length is S equals R theta, where theta is in radians. So we plug in our radius, which was one and a half feet. Our angle measure was 245. And then again, to convert that to radians, we multiply by pi over 180. So then we get our S, or our arc length, um, is going to be 6.4 feet. So when we turn this drum 245 degrees, the anchor will be lowered approximately 6.4 feet. Now let's talk about this area of a sector. Again, we have, an, we have a, 
a wedge or a sector made by two radii that gives us the central angle with our radius R, central angle M degrees. And remember that the area of a sector from geometry was pi R squared, which was the area of the circle, times M over 360, where M was the measure of the central angle in degrees. So again, we can rearrange this, so R squared times pi, over, pi m over 360. And if we, um, if we remember, we want to multiply by pi over 180 to convert from degrees to radians. So if we pull out 1 half, then we get our pi over 180 that we want. So here's the angle measure in radians. So our formula becomes r squared times 1 half times theta. So our m degrees gets replaced by theta and S was the length of the um, arc length. Typically, we will write the area of a sector as one-half R squared theta, where theta is in radians. We just move this one-half to the front um, because we usually keep our constants as the coefficient. A sprinkler head sprays water in a circular motion through an angle of 85 degrees. Each spray reaches a distance of 15 feet. What is the area of the sector watered by this sprinkler? So let's draw a picture. So here's the water being sprayed out from the sprinkler. Here, your sprinkler will be right here. So the radius is going to be 15 feet, and the um, central angle is going to be 85 degrees. So we set up our equation. Remember that area is 1 half r squared theta, where theta is in radians. So we have our 15 squared, and then 85 times pi over 180. And then when we multiply that all out, we get approximately 167 square feet. And that is how you find the length of an arc and the area of a sector. So you try a couple. Find the exact length of an arc whose central angle measures 30 degrees in a circle of radius 11 centimeters. And then find the area of the sector created by the arc above.